Let's just refresh your memories a little bit and show you a little bit about how her session before the Judicial Service Commission went. Here is that piece. Uh, and remember, this was this aired on the 14th of April as compiled by Sam Gituku. Lady Justice Martha Kome was the third candidate to take the hot seat in the David Maraga succession battle. But ghosts from the disputed presidential election in 2017 would return to haunt her as she made a case to become Kenya's third CJ under the 2010 constitution. On the 25th of October 2017, fresh uncertainty hit the polarizing repeat presidential election after High Court Judge George Odunga found IEBC's appointment of 290 returning officers irregular. His finding had been that IEBC had not notified stakeholders of the returning officers at least two weeks before the appointment. Even though Odunga had not postponed or outlawed the repeat election, IEBC was concerned the High Court finding could have been used to challenge the legality of the repeat election, which was already being boycotted by the opposition. And so they approached the Court of Appeal, which in a night sitting gave life to the repeat election. Martha Koome was part of the bench. Don't you have an obligation, for example, to ask, uh, has the Chief Justice authorized us to sit after hours? What is your responsibility? Uh, as long as the president of the court had already prepared the course list, empaneled the bench, called me to sit, and I myself using my own discretion as a judge and a senior judge appreciating that this is a matter of national importance that requires an intervention. I knew when we are dealing with the presidential disputes, everything is urgent. You saw the Supreme sitting through midnight. For the Supreme Court to sit at midnight, as my lady said, it took the Chief Justice to authorize sitting out of and beyond hours. At the time, the now Attorney General retired Justice Paul Kihara Karioki was the President of the Court of Appeal. He now sits in the JSC and part of the interviewing panel, Justice Kaome deflecting, saying she was only following orders from her boss. When the President of the Court uh, certified the matter, and constituted the bench, uh, said the matter be heard today because of the urgency. It is him I'm answerable to. The judiciary under retired Chief Justice David Maraga faced strained relations with the executive following the nullification of the August 2017 presidential election. The president's refusal to appoint 41 judges since recommendation by JSC in July 2019, part of Maraga's most troubling episodes. Justice Kome convinced she had a formula on resolving the standoff. I will pick up a phone and fix an appointment with the appointing authority. Does my lady have one, either an assurance that my lady's cause will be picked or to a way that will make my lady's cause be picked? When I'm occupying this office, this office authorizes me to pick up a call and they ask to speak to His Excellency, the President. Uh, even if it has been tried before and it has failed, I'm not the one who tried, so I must try it. I don't know anybody in the executive. The closest I came to His Excellency, the President of the Republic, is when he came here on uh, launch of the state of the judiciary uh, reports and we were invited at the stairs there to take a picture. At a time the judiciary faces budgetary cuts from the executive, adverse perception by different state agencies on the war against corruption and economic crimes, Kome believes it's time for all arms to work together. When the CJ is seen with the president, they are discussing matters on administration of justice, that everybody is responsible. It's not a beauty contest who serves Kenya better. For a judge with 18 years on the bench and a total 33 years of legal experience, Kome made a case for herself as the person to unify the Supreme Court bench that is often perceived to be working at cross purposes. All we need to do is have a couple of ranches um, because for the Court of Appeal we eat together and when you know food helps people 
the talk nicely. Uh, so we will have a couple of uh, retreats uh, eating to understand what is the problem.